सदाशिव सारंभा शंकराचार्य मुद्दाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा शुद्ध स्मृति पुराण आलिम करुणाल भगवान भगवान शंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बालनायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवंत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिनी व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणामूर्त सह नो सह नौ नु सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वीतमस्तुमाशावे ओं शांति 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 ब्रह्मांडाकृणूति तस्म चुमूर्ति प्रकाश मुक्षुर वै शरणमहम प्रपद्ये शांति 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 आम्लायंत्र संसिद्ध आदिमध्यार्ज आनंद घन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिर्पास्महे सो वी लुक्ट एट दिस उत्तरा वन थ्री थर्टी टू ज्योतिषी भावाच सो द कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज दी अधिकरण वेर देवाज हैव अधिकार सो देवता अधिकरण वेदर Devatas have adhikara in Brahma Vidya specifically, and Vidya as a generic term meaning upasana is also discussed. And since it is a discussion of uh, Vaidika karma, be it manasika, karma is also included, meaning whether they have adhikara in karma kanda. So this is all by extension. But specifically, do devatas have adhikara in Brahma Vidya or not? This is the topic of discussion, which came up and there. Tadupari api badraena sambhavat se badraena. Quoting Jaimini, Jaimini sutras where Jaimini does not agree. Jaimini purva purva niyamam saka Jaimini in his own sutras he has given lakshanas as to what makes a person disqualified. in shastra so applying those lakshanas uh, what badrana acharya does is he shows that these are possible meaning the since there is no prohibition they are not prohibited seva is possible vigraha is there therefore devatas also have adhikara this is how um, badrayana showed as to devatadi meaning tadupari abo manushya tad is manushya abo manushya also there is adhikara because sambhav sambhav has been shown just give me a moment i uh, just looking up something um i have uh, closed the document okay it's opening mm-hmm. hopefully i wanted to look up something mm-hmm. the pc has slowed down okay anyway let it be tadupre api badharana sambhava then virodha karmane iti chenna aneka pratipattir darshanat If there is virodha due to these devatas, Indradi devatas not being available at multiple places at the same time, because yagas are done at multiple places, and if at all uh, Indradi devatas have vigraha, meaning have a form, then they will be limited to a particular yaga, not multiple yagas. Okay, the, uh, this thing has opened. Uh, so I was saying that there are uh, multiple uh, qualifications as to having adhikara in shastra <coughs> or rather is uh, a lakshana as to arthitvam samarthyam and anishedah so devatas whether so what badrayana acharya says is that you jaimini acharya in purva yamsa what have you said as to what makes a person qualified in shastras arthitvam should be there meaning one should have ichha that ichha is possible in devatadi like manushyas samarthya should be there 
since vigraha is there form is there samarthya is also there meaning they can do sevadi to get vidya and since there is no nisheda there is no specific nisheda in the shastras for devatas in karma vidya ityadi therefore vidya is possible brahma vidya is possible this is what the argument is or the perspective is of badrana acharya and if at all vigraha being there there is virodha then in karma there is virodha that is not possible because uh, multiple forms can be taken by devatas or just like you know in a, uh, a namaskar example was given just like a brahmana can do namaskara to multiple people at the same time and multiple people can do namaskara to single brahmana at the same time similarly the devatas can also be present in multiple yagas at the same time even if multiple bodies is not possible if at all taking multiple vigras is possible that is one argument second is that even if you don't agree then even with a, uh, a single vigraha also single rupa form also devatas can accept namaskaras and offer ashirvada or the phala of the yaga then uh, shabda iti chenna atah pravavat pratyaksha anuma manabhyam so pratyaksha is shruti and anumana is smriti so using the pratyaksha and uh, shruti pratyaksha shruti and anumana smriti also it has been shown that vedavakya shabde vedavakye anitya vigrahavad deva devadehe nitya vedarthatva angikare shabdasya arthena sa nitya sambandha bhavena uh ityadi so what have we seen is that nitya if the sh- shabda and uh, shabdartha means pada and padartha have nitya sambandha as per purva mimamsaka if at all you say vigraha is the meaning of the shabda indra shabda means indra devata vigraha then the, the vigraha is a form which will be limited will be anitya therefore the shabda which is nitya and vigraha which is padartha shabdartha as anitya they cannot have nitya sambandha but then it is not so because what is the answer given is that the the form which is being looked at by the puro pakshi the form of indra the devatas is a limited form all right but across kalpas it will be recreated or remanifest based on a template and that template that subtle template on which the indra devata form is there or indra adi devata form is that is nitya and unto that form is the pada connected so the the template of the form is the padartha and pada means that template not the manifest form not an individual vyakti individual manifest vyakti therefore the template being nitya shabda being nitya shabdartha is also nitya therefore sambandha can be nitya and therefore atayeva ch nityatvam also and since this atah prabhavat since the shabda itself is the from uh, from which the utpatti of the padartha is also there therefore nityatva of the vedas also although veda nityatvam is established in another way with this thinking also that conclusion becomes firm drida so kartra asmaranat kartra asmaranat siddham eva veda nityatvam anena dridikrutam iti bodhyam so i am just uh, doing a recap so that uh, since it is a Uh, the adhikarana is not over i am just giving a uh, overview of adhikarana because the others have also joined in today then across um, kalpas what happens at pralaya the uh, all the forms are also folded back into into the adhikarana there is no form there then how will this nityatvam work so the answer given is samana nama rupatvacha avruttav api avirodah darshana smritischa so there is a shruti and smriti also which says that across kalpas the nama rupatmaka prapancha continues 
So it is re-manifest in the next kalpa the way it was there in the earlier kalpa. Therefore, there is pravaha nityatum. Then there is an objection by Jaimini. Jaimini Acharya says all this discussion that you have made, how can it work in vidya such as madhu, madhu ityadi. Madhuadishu asambhavad anadhikaram Jaimini hi. So Jaimini Acharya says Devata, Indradi Devatas do not have Adhikara in Vidya. For example, he takes take Madhu Vidya. So wherever there is a pair given, so some Devata will be talked as Madhu and this is how you have to do your Upasana. Now if let's say Aditya Devata is talked about as Upasya in Madhuadi, Madhu Vidya Ityadi, there Aditya Devata himself cannot have Adhikara in that Upasana because Aditya himself is Upasya. There will be Upasaka Upasya Abheda, meaning the Upasaka will be Karta and Upasya Karma will also be the same Aditya Devata. How will it work? It won't work. Therefore, he says, due to that impossibility, there is no Adhikara for Devatas. So, the last sutra we saw in the last part is Jyotishi Bhavacha. And then he said that the Aditya, Aditya Devata is one who is there in the Surya Mandala. So, what you see in, in, in the Antariksha, the Surya that you see is Aditya, who has Vigraha, that Vigraha. Other than that, we don't know any other Vigraha. Therefore, the Puro Pakshi has made this objection. So, Lauki Kayo Ho. Aditya Shabda Pratyo Jyotir Mandale Bhava Tesham Asmadadi Vat Ishta Anishta Prapti Parihara Rupa Cheshtaya Adarshanayina Achetanatva Avadharana Tad Atiriktasya Achetanasya Vigrahadi Mataha Pratyakshadya Atocharatvat You don't see any other Devata, you don't have anything to argue about what we are talking about, you don't have anything to refute that says the Siddhanti. So the Shastra which discusses the Vigraha for these Indradi Devatas, they should be accepted. You don't have anything which is opposing that. You don't have any other Pramana. So what you have is this Surya that you see in the Akasha and the Devata who is associated with that, the solar disk is having a particular Vigraha as discussed in the Shastra, as revealed by the Shastra, you don't have any Pramana to know that. What you see is this solar disk, you don't see Aditya Devata. That Aditya Devata is revealed by the Shastra. Since you do not have any pramana to oppose it, because this solar disk that you see is not the Aditya Devata. Our bhava is that it is Aditya Devata, Pratyaksha Narayana, Surya Narayana. But how he should be meditated upon, that is revealed by the Shastra. The characteristics of the Aditya Devata is described by the Shastra. What is your problem with that? says the Siddhanti to the Puru Pakshi, ask the Siddhanti to the Puru Pakshi, you don't have any pramana to contradict that. So, Tesham Asmadadi Vat Ishta Anishta Prapti Parihara Rupa Cheshta Adarshanena. You don't see that they go around with uh, satisfying their own uh, desires or dealing with them, their likes and dislikes, just like us. We don't see that. And Achetanatva Avadharanat. Tad atirktasya achetanasya vigrahadi mataha pratyakshadi agocharatva. We have seen this. There was a typo there that has been corrected. So, the Shastra which reveals it, tad vigrahadi pratipadakana mantranam anya paratvena swarthe pramanya abhavat. If at all you see the vigraha which are discussed in the Shastra, you don't see any other vigraha, achetana, you don't see any other body. So the body as discussed by the Shastra should be accepted. Unless you have something contradicted, you say that I have seen the Devata, he does not have this body or he has a different kind of body. You don't have such Pramana. 
देन दिस देवता हु इज प्रत्यक्षादि प्रमाण अगोचर ओनली शास्त्र गोचर इज दिस देवता देवता आर रिवील्ड ओनली बाय शास्त्र दैट इज द ओनली प्रमाण यू डोंट हैव प्रत्यक्षादि मीनिंग प्रत्यक्ष अनुमान इत्यादि प्रमाण आर नॉट देयर विथ यू टू नो वॉट वॉट इज द फॉर्म ऑफ द देवता सो तद्विग्रहादि प्रतिपादकान मंत्राण दोज मंत्र शुड बी टेकन एज हैविंग एक्सेप्टेबल मीनिंग मीनिंग वॉट एवर इज द मीनिंग वॉट एवर इज द विग्रह रिवील दैट इज द विग्रह ऑफ द इंद्रादि देवता आदित्यादि देवता इफ एट ऑल यू आर्ग्यू दैट दे आर फॉर सम अदर पर्पज देन यू टेल अस विच इज द पर्पज वॉट इज द प्रमाण फॉर दैट पर्पज मीनिंग यू से दैट इट इज नॉट लिटरल literally they don't have sharira but there is another purpose to describe these characteristics or these forms of devatas so siddhant this is okay tell us what is your purpose and what is the pramana for that interpretation the puro pakshi does not have any pramana at all he cannot tell you that it is for uh, you know it is it is uh, some kind of arthavada therefore what anya par mantranam anya paratvena swarthe pramanya abhavat <coughs> there is no pramana therefore devanan vidya adhikarah iti sutra dvesya tatparyartha so the earlier mat sutra uh, the basically the adhikarana is being concluded saying that there is adhikara for devatas in vidya स्पेसिफिकली ब्रह्म विद्या नाउ इफ एट ऑल देर इज एन ऑब्जेक्शन विच यू रेज एस टू मधुवादिशु असंभव दैट विल ऑल्सो बी एंसर्ड इन दी नेक्स्ट सूत्र सो इतम पूर्वपक्षे सिद्धांत सो दिस इज वॉट बेसिकली दी पूर्वपक्ष मधुवादिशु असंभव इज पूर्वपक्ष जैमिनी एंड ज्योतिषी भाव सो आई एम ऑलरेडी गिवन दी एंसर हियर एस टू देर इज नो प्रमाण ऑफ दी पूर्व पक्षी बट दिस इज द पूर्व पक्षी सूत्र इट से ज्योतिषी भाव सो वॉट पूर्व पक्षी इज क्लेमिंग दैट वॉट यू सी इन दी आकाश इज सूर्य वी डोंट हैव एनी सो आई हैव फ्लिप दी आर्ग्यूमेंट फ्रॉम दि सिद्धांत दि साइड बट इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम दी पूर्व पक्षी साइड ही इज सेंग दैट दि सोलार डिस्क इज दी ओनली ओनली विग्रह विनो एंड दैट इज नॉट दि देवता एंड वॉट एवर देवता इज डिस्क्राइब दी श्रुति वी डोंट सी सच सो प्रत्यक्ष आदि अगोचरत्व but our argument will also be the same thing pratyekshadi agochara if the vigraha is not being seen by you of indradi devatas then how do you say that what shastra describes is not valid so this is our argument but what puro pakshi is claiming is that since there is no other achetana the only achetana vigraha sharira that we see is the solar disk in the sky that is the devata if at all you have to talk about it that is the devata or indradi devata also cannot be seen so whatever vigrahas you are talking about those vigrahas are really not there so mantranam anya paratvena so he says anya paratvam there is anya paratvo meaning they are committed to something else so swarthe pramana it is not pramana vakya in swartha meaning it is not literal so pramanya abhavat there is no pramana to show that they have swartha meaning meaning the vigraha is as is but the siddhanti says that in fact we are going to flip it over saying that you don't have anything to oppose this pramana which is shastra itself shastra talks about vigraha if you say anya paratvam you have to show anya paratvam so na devanam uh, na devanam vidya adhikara so vidya adhikara is not there so na is there this is puro paksha but then what is the siddhanti saying devanam adhikara asti why because same thing that has been given earlier as to तद उपरी अभी बाधारायण संभव दि थ्री सूत्रज विचार नॉट थ्री सूत्रज बट थ्री थ्री रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर अधिकार इन शास्त्र आर गिवन बाय जैमिनी महर्षि हिमसेल्फ इन दि पूर्व मीमांसा सूत्रज नाउ बाधारण आचार्य हुज वेदांत इन शोज दैट दोज रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर एप्लीकेबल टू देवता विच वी ऑलरेडी मेड एज एन ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दी अधिकरण now in the closing also the same reasoning is summed up as to bhavantu badrayanostihi 
भावन तुम आदरायण ही सो इतम पूर्व पक्षे मिनी इतम पूर्व पक्षे प्राप्त the earlier two sutras which gave a purva paksha that devatas cannot have adhikara in vidya why the 31st sutra said that because the devata cannot be the upasaka as well upase because devata is upasya not an upasaka and second was jyotishi bhava so there is a form in the antariksha give one example surya so that devata has a vigraha which you see that is pratyaksha any other achetana sharira is not seen therefore there is no swartha there is no literal meaning of the vigraha that has to be taken even if it is revealed by the shruti we have to look at some other meaning so it is artha vakya the uh, arthavad vakya so siddhante siddhanta says that bhavam tu bhavam tu badrayana asti hi asti hi so that is the padachheda bhavam so the bhavam devadinam vigrahavatvena brahma vidyayam adhikara bhavam so what is bhavam meaning it is there what is there adhikara bhava what was said is that vidya adhikara is not there pramanya abhavat so pramanya bhava is also there and therefore what ब्रह्म विद्यायाम अधिकार भाव इज ऑल्सो देर देर इज डेफिनेटली अधिकार फॉर देवता वाय देव देवादीज वाय विग्रहत्व विग्रहत्व इज दी हेतु बिकॉज दे हैव विग्रह देर फोर इच्छा इज पॉसिबल सेवा इज पॉसिबल एंड ऑल्सो वॉट देर इज नो निषेध यू यू कैनॉट शो एनी निषेध फॉर देवता इन विद्या so this is sum up what has been the opening statement that is concluded by showing that these three requirements are applicable to devatadis two is to do puro paksha nirasa to refute the puro paksha badrayan acharya says asti hi asti what adhikara asti asti hi adhikara is there meaning bhavam प्रामाण्य भाव इज देर एंड अधिकार भाव इज देर देर फोर अस्ति ही अधिकार बादरायण मनते बादरायण आचार्य मनते दट इज सूत्रार्थ तू शब्द जैमिनी मत निरासाथ तू शब्द इज टू रिफ्यूट दि जैमिनी मत बादरायण तू आचार्य देवादीना विग्रहत्वन ब्रह्म विद्यायां अधिकार भाव मनते so badran acharya says that there is definitely adhikara for devatadi in brahma vidya kasmat kutah what is the karana kasmat karanat asti hi what is asti hi this bhavam is pramanya you can take pram since the earlier sutra ended with pramanya abhava you can read pramanya bhava and then that leads to what so through pramanya bhava it leads to adhikara bhava so adhikara bhava masti because the sutra vritti says adhikara bhava brahma vidyam adhikara bhava mean presence of adhikara there is definite possibility and existence of admini bhava is also bhava is what bhusattayam derived from bhusattayam and asabhui as asti as means bhui means in bhudhatu artha which is in satta artha meaning there is definite satta of adhikara in brahma vidya for devadis indradi devatas adityadi devatas and what is asti hi asti hi means all that triad which was shown the triad of requirements which was shown by badarayana taking cue from jaimini sutra itself those are possible that triad is possible those requirements are possible so arthitvadi adhikara karanam so adhikara karana is there which is what the ichha bhava then vigraha bhava due to vigraha sevadi bhava and also anisheda there is no nisheda there is no prohibition for devatas in vidya नहीं क्वचिद अधिकारो न इति सर्वत्र वक्तुम पारीते ना व्हाट अबाउट दी 31 सूत्र वेयर जैमिनी आचार्य सेड मद्वादी विद्या 
has the upasaka and upasya same. So in Madhu Vidya you cannot have Madhu which is upasya, uh, devata as Madhu being upasya, the same devata cannot be upasaka also. What about that? <coughs> so there Bhadranachara says, okay, let it be that that particular devata does not have adhikara in that particular upasana. See? But the same devata can have adhikara in other upasanas, other vidyas, or forget all other upasanas, at least in Brahma Vidya. In Brahma Vidya, Brahma is not the Vigrahavat devata. <coughs> it is not even the Vigrahavat Manushya. It is not Vigrahavat anyone. Therefore, the Upasana or Vidya of Brahma, at least that should be possible for everyone. Unless there is Nisheda. So, anyone who has a Vigraha and has an Antakrana where Ichha is possible, Ichha Vritti is possible, and Nisheda is not there, then this Brahma Vidya is possible. So, Kvachid Adhikara Na. Wherever you pointed out, in those upasanas, let there be no adhikara for devatas. But in others, other upasanas, you cannot say it isn't there. So, sarvatra na iti vaktum na, so uh, nahi kvachid adhikaro na iti sarvatra vaktum pariyate. So, that you cannot extend, extend to every other upasana and jnana, jnana kanda also you cannot extend that logic to. This is the Siddhanti. Nirguna Vidya am Sambhavad and in Nirguna Vidya, Brahma Vidya, where Brahma has no gunas. That Nirguna Upasana as well as Nirguna Jnana is definitely possible. So Nirguna Vidya can be taken as Nirguna Upasana as well as Nirguna Jnana. Our focus is mostly on Jnana, but Nirguna Upasana is also possible. It is discussed in the ninth chapter of Panchadashi. To those who, I mean, for those who are interested to look up. <coughs> Sambhavad Brihaspati Save Brahmana Seva. An example is given. So, in Brihaspati Sava, <coughs> Brahmana has Adhikara. Just because Brahmana has no Adhikara in Ashwamedha, you cannot say that Brahmana has no Adhikara in any other Upasana. Why is this... Uh, given in a, in a, as an example, because what Puro Pakshi has done is he has handpicked this Madhuvidya and in that he has shown some, some Devata say Aditya as Upasya, therefore Aditya Devata has no Adhikara in Madhuvidya and since all the other vidyas that you are talking about, including Brahma Vidya, you meaning you the Siddhanti, says the Puru Pakshi, Jemini Acharya, you the Siddhanti who is talking about Adhikara for Aditya the Devatas in Brahma Vidya, that does not stand scrutiny. Why? The Puru Pakshi says, because Brahma Vidya is also Vidya, like Madhu Vidya, where Aditya does not have, Aditya Devata does not have Adhikara. Why? Because he himself should be the Upasya also. Therefore, what is his logic? Devat, Devata Adi Naam Brahma Vidyayam Adhikaraha Nasti Kutaha He will say Vidyatvat Meaning what? Brahma Vidya Vidyatva. Brahma Vidya is Vidya. Like what? Madhu Vidya. What? So this is his Tarka. Anumana has been used. So he has some logic. Yatretra Vidyatvam Tatra Tatra Devatadi Nam Anadikaraha. Madhu Vidya, his example is like Madhu Vidya. So this is the Tarka that he has used. Siddhanti is answering by saying that, does Brahmana have Adhikara in uh, Ashwamedha? No. So to the same Jaimini Acharya who is 
Purvamivamsaka, who talks about Adhikara for Brahmanas in Yaga and he says that they should do nothing else but they should do Yaga. They should follow Dharma. And what is Dharma? Yaga Adhireva Dharma. So this Jaimini Acharya who says Yaga Adhireva Dharma and Yaga Adhi should be followed by Brahmana. And Yaga Sava, Sava is also multiple days of Yagas. There, to, contra- to show the flaw in the logic of Jaimini Acharya with Madhuvidya, Anadhikara of Devatas being extended to all Vidyas including Brahma Vidya, there is a flaw to show that similar logic is given by the Siddhanti through which the flaw is very clear. Otherwise, Jaimini Acharya will have to accept this also. What is the logic? This Brahmana does not have Adhikara in Yaga. Why? Because Brahaspati Ityadi, Brahaspati Sava Ityadi Yaga. Why? Because it is Yaga like Ashwamedha. And in Ashwamedha, Brahmana does not have Adhikara. That is very clear. Even Jaimini Acharya agrees. Only Kshatriya has Adhikara. Not even Kshatriya, Kshatriya Raja. We have seen this earlier. So, only a Kshatriya Raja can have, not all Kshatriya Rajas have Adhikara, there are other qualifications also. So, have, can have Adhikara in Ashwamedha, but Brahmana, no Brahmana can have Adhikara, no Vaishya, no Shudra has Adhikara. So, Brahmanas are generally known to have Adhikara in all Yagas, but no, in Ashwamedha it is not there, in Rajasuya Yaga it is not there. So, giving these one or two examples, just like these Yagas, Brahaspati Sava is also Yaga, set of Yagas. Just like Brahmana does not have Adhikara in those Ashwamedha, Yaga and Rajasuya Yaga. Similarly, in Brihaspati Savaityadi or other Yagas also, Brahmana has no Adhikara. Will Jaimini Acharya agree? And what is he to given? Yagatvat, Rajasuya Vat, Ashwamedha Vat. So this will not work because it is a flawed logic. There is a dosha. Therefore, Brahmanasya Brahaspati Save Sambhavat, Adhikara Sambhavat. You have to read this as Nirguna Vidyayam Devatadinam Adhikara Asti Sambhavat. Why? Brahmanasya Adhikara Sambhavat. Brahaspati Save Brahmanasya Adhikara Sambhavat. Even just like there is. Adhikara of Brahmana in Brahaspati Sava and other Yagas also. Bearing a couple of exceptions, few exceptions, not couple, there may be others also. We have seen, you know, for example, there is a uh, particular uh, uh, caste where crossbred. So, where a particular uh, Yaga, we have seen a few uh, Adhikaranas back as to there is a particular Adhikara. Only that particular person has particular adhikara in that particular yaga. So all these particulars aside, general rule is there is adhikara for Brahmana. Basically dvijas and then in dvijas also Brahmana. Nacha vigraha na iti vachyam. And then Jyotishi Bhavat has been said. Vigraha is not there. The vigraha that we see is in the Akasha, Surya Vigraha. But there is no other vigraha, Pratyaksha Siddha. So to that the answer is that, no you should not say so. Why? Tadapi Asti. Tadapi Asti He. So this Asti He is also, that Vigraha is also there. Tat Pratipadaka Mantrana Manantara Viroda Samvada Abhavena. What you are saying is that Pratyakshadi Pramana is not there to show the Vigraha. We say that Shastra Pramana is there. And Shastra Pramana cannot be shown as Arthavada. You will have to show why it is Arthavada. You will have to show why it is not literal. Why it can't be literal. Then only you go to Arthavada. So, Tat Pratipadaka Mantrana Manantara Viroda Samvada Avhavena. There is no other mana. Uh, pramana. Mana means Pramana. There is no other Pramana. There is no Shastra Pramana which is contradictory. And other Pramanas don't have a say there at all. 
देर फोर प्रमाणत्वाद दी मंत्राज विच टॉक अबाउट विग्रह ऑफ देवताज दे आर प्रमाण्यम दे हैव प्रमाण्यम दे आर प्रमाण एंड प्रमाणत्वाद इति दिक दिस सफिशिएंट सो अ लॉन्ग डिस्कशन हैज टेकन प्लेस नाउ अनदर डिस्कशन कम्स अप व्हिच इज इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद दिस बट पूर्व पक्षी गॉट एन ईच क्वेश्चन यू नो जस्ट गोइंग ऑफ ऑफ ट्रैक ऑन अ टेंजेंट बिकॉज हियर ही हैज नो आर्ग्युमेंट सो नाउ ही सेज सम अदर पूर्व पक्षी it not be jemini acharya it is not jemini acharya definitely someone else comes up saying that the way you are arguing if this is true then let the other thing also be true of adhikara you are discussing adhikara so it takes a tangent on adhikara and contextually an adhikaran comes up this controversial i'll be very upfront there is controversial especially in today's social setup so we'll see what we need to see and move on पूर्व यथा तद्यो यो देवानाम इति देवशब्द शुत्या मनुष्याधिकार नियम अपवादेन देवानाम अधिकार उक्ता हा सो व्हाट हैव यू डन यू दिस सिद्धांति यू हैव स्टेटेड अधिकार फॉर देव देवा एट्सेट्रा मीनिंग एवरीवन अबो मनुष्या हैज अधिकार इन ब्रह्मविद्या व्हाट डिड यू डू देयर तद्यो यो देवानाम इत्यादि यू यूज द श्रुति आल्सो टू शो शो दैट देवास हैव अधिकार देवानाम इज श्रुति एंड इति देव शब्द श्रुतिया यूजिंग दैट देव शब्द श्रुति मनुष्य अधिकार मनुष्य अधिकार नियम अपवादेन सो द क्वालिफिकेशन इन कर्म ऑन दिस कर्म भूमि इज फॉर अ कर्मी एंड दैट कर्मी हु इज देयर इन द देव भूमि इज मनुष्य ऑल्दो देयर आर अदर्स आल्सो ऑन द कर्म भूमि हियर still karma adhikara is only for manushya because manushya is endowed with a particular kind of a antakarana of an antakarana with a buddhi upadesha being possible etc therefore the general understanding which is accepted by everyone is that manushyas have adhikara in karma vidya ityadi in vedas but then you have shown a shruti saying that devanam there is an adhikara for devas also therefore deva shabda shruti is there through that you showed that manushya adhikara niyama which is there there is an apavad to that niyama although utsarga is manushyas have adhikaras devatas are not manushyas therefore they don't have adhikaras is general understanding however you showed an apavad using deva shruti deva shabda shruti has been used by you to show an apavad to the niyama that only manushyas have adhikaras similarly तथा इह शूद्र शब्द श्रुत्या द्विज जात्यधिकार नियम अपोद्य सिमिलरली व्हाट शुड यू डू नाउ यू शुड आल्सो कंसीडर पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ अधिकारास इन ब्रह्म विद्या एंड कर्म इत्यादि बेसिकली वैदिक कर्म विद्या फॉर शूद्र आज आल्सो व्हाई बिकॉज शूद्र शब्द इज देयर आई शो यू शूद्र शब्द यू हैव यूज देव शब्द श्रुति आई शो यू शूद्र शब्द श्रुति से पूर्व पक्ष तथा ये शूद्र शब्द श्रुतिया द्विज जाति अधिकार नियम व्हाट इज ए नियम द्विजाज हैव अधिकार द्विजाज आर दो हैव हैव यज्ञ पवित संस्कार एंड हैव हैड द्वितीय जन्म द्विजा इज द्वितीय जन्म सो द सेकंड जन्म फर्स्ट जन्म इज फ्रॉम दी मदर फ्रॉम दी पेरेंट्स सेकेंड जन्म इज थ्रू संस्कार संस्कार द्विजो भवे सो विथ यज्ञोपवित इत्यादि संस्कार एक्चुअली अर्लियर संस्कार ऑल्सो जन्म संस्कार इट इज ऑल्सो देयर बट देन स्पेसिफिकली द सेकेंड जन्म इज वेन दी गुरु गिव्स एन उपदेश इज वन इज एलिजिबल फॉर दी उपदेश फ्रॉम दी गुरु दैट इज ओनली वेन यज्ञोपवित संस्कार इज देयर सो द्विज जाति द्विज इज आउट ऑफ दी फोर वर्ण ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय एंड वैश्य आर द्विजा द शूद्र डज नॉट हैव अधिकार इन उपनयन संस्कार इत्यादि सो दैट नियम विच इज देर दैट द्विजा ओनली हैव ओनली द्विजा हैव अधिकार इन वैदिक कर्म विद्या अपोद्य वाई बिकॉज शूद्र शब्द इज देर यू हैव टू मेक एन अपवाद टू दैट रूल 
एंड से शूद्र से अभी अधिकार अस्तु लेट देर भी अधिकार और शूद्र ऑल्सो दिस इज दी पूर्व पक्षी हु सेज दैट सिंस यू हैव यूज दिस देव शब्द श्रुति यू हैव टू यूज दिस शूद्र शब्द श्रुति ऑल्सो एंड गिव अधिकार शूद्र ऑल्सो इति दृष्टांत संगत्य दमाह ही गिव्स अ दृष्टांत ऑफ शूद्र शब्द श्रुति इट कम्स फ्रॉम सिंस छांदोग्य एंड देयर वाय अपशूद्र अधिकरणम सो दी अपशूद्र अधिकरण comes up due to this reason as an aside okay this is an aside so apashudra adhikara is the right of shudras in vaidika karma this has nothing to do with the flow that is going on this is out of context but in, in the flow in the flow of the brahma sutra but this is you know prasanga there is a prasanga which has come up and uh, detour has been taken based on the you know just basically logic is being used by the puro pakshi so it's a um, uh, it's a it's a disconnect in the flow the flow will continue in, in the next adhikarana so atha uh, so what is the sutra there shugasya tadanada uh, shugasya tad anadara shravana tada dravana suchyate hi shugasya tad anadara shravana tada dravana suchyate hi so shugasya tad anadara shravana तदा द्रवणात तदा द्रवणात सूच्यते ही दैट इज अ पदच्छेद सो शुग शुगस्य सो व्हाट इज बीइंग सेड हियर इज दैट दिस लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू द कॉन्टेक्स्ट फर्स्ट सो देयर द इन छांदोग्य fourth chapter in the first pada onwards there is a discussion of uh, the janashruti so there is a uh, section called samvarga vidya there uh, janashruti yeah, there is a janashruti this person is uh, he is a he is a dani he keeps on donating a lot and very well known does lot of dharma karya quite rich also so this jana shruti is well known in that area and it seems that i mean there is a story there a kind of a, a story that comes up in which this uh, uh, this mantra in that context of the story there is a mantra so there are two swans the hamsas who are passing by or who come into his house and they are discussing so the one swan tells to the other one hamsa tells to the other who oh, be careful you know this is uh, jana shruti's house and there is some talk like that so there is some praise of jana shruti and one hamsa tells the other as to one uh, swan tells the other you you know be careful this jana and the, the praise is of the uh, of uh, this jana shruti there is a praise by one swan and the other swan says who is this jana shruti you are praising jana shruti as if he is raikwa with a cart so there is one you know uh, kind of a parivrajaka or uh, someone who is like unmatta they say that the jnani is ummat pishachavat also at times so there is this uh, raikwa who goes around with a cart who the hamsa this hamsa the second hamsa who is answering the first as to why are you praising jana shruti as if he is raikwa so this raikwa is known as jnani there and the comparison is made i mean meaning this jana shruti be when who is the jana shruti he is no raikwa right so it's an insult to jana shruti who overhears this and it causes dukha so what is being said is that the puro pakshi says that there is a mantra of shudra so then listening to this then there is a uh, we will not go into the story but then uh, since the this since this uh, jana shruti has overheard the hamsas he goes and asks them 
he asks who is this Raikwad, inquires and then visits Janashruti. When he goes to Janashruti, uh, sorry, Janashruti visits Raikwa. When Janashruti goes to Raikwa, Raikwa addresses him as Shudra. So there is a mantra where Ahahare Twa Shudra Tavai Vassaha Govirastu. So he, this Shudra is a Sambodhana. So Raikwa addresses Janashruti as Shudra. He Shudra. It's a Sambodhana. Due to this Shudra Shruti, Shudra Shabda Shruti, which is what the Purva Pakshira said, Shudra Shabda Shrutya. Due to that, Shudra address by Raikwa to Jana Shruti. And then there is Vidya also. There is Vidya given to Jana Shruti. Therefore, let and Jana Shruti is Shudra who had Adhikara in Vaidika Karma Vidya. Therefore, let there be Adhikara for Shudra in all Vaidika Karmas and Jnana Brahma Vidya. Why not? This is the Puro Paksha. So the answer given is that this Shudra is not Varna. This Shudra has yogika meaning. Why? Because there is contradiction. When should you look for yogika artha and not rudi artha? Prasiddha artha for Shudra is Shudra Varna. One who belongs to Shudra Varna. But this is contradictory. Why? Because all Shastras, all Shastras, all Dharma Shastras discuss that there is no Adhikara for Shudra in any Vaidika Karma. There may be some specific exceptions based on Shastra, but not in Vaidika Karma. You cannot make it general rule also. There is Nisheda. So let there be Vigraha, let there be Ichcha. Let's say Ichcha is possible. Basically, Ichcha is also not possible. If you look at the Karma theory, Ichcha is not possible. Who, see, Brahmanas of today, they themselves don't have Ichcha in many Brahmanas, I am saying. Most of the Brahmanas today do not have Ichcha in Vaidika Karma and Vidya. There are very few exceptions who have, who want to keep their Brahmanyam, Brahmanatto. And if you look at the other Dvijas, they don't even have Yajnopavita Samskaras. I am not saying that Brahmanas do. Many Brahmanas don't do Yajnopavita Samskara also. They have lost it. They have lost Adhikara. They have lost the Brahmana uh, Varnatto itself. Because Brahmana Varna does not stay at all. If uh, it, I think uh, as I recall, in, if three generations give up the uh, Gayatri Japa, then the Brahmana does not remain a Brahmana. The Brahmana Kula does not remain Brahmana. So the Varna is lost. And in other Dvijas, meaning in Kshatriyas and in Vaishyas, they have given, given up Yajnopavita itself since multiple generations now. The new generation does not have it. Very rarely someone has it and that too during marriage day, just before marriage because marriage needs another uh, Yajnopavita, they take the first Yajnopavita also. And this unfortunately is there in many Brahmanas also. Anyway, this is an aside to say that <coughs> that Shudra Shabda literally cannot be applied here because there is Nisheda. So, Ichcha, if at all it is possible and since Vigra is there, Seva is also possible. Shudras can do a great Seva, better than others also because that is their main role as to they serve the society. So, they are the building blocks as well. All four Varnas are building blocks and then the foundation is the Shudra. Shastra wise foundation is the is Brahmana. Protection wise foundation is Kshatriya. With the flow of money the foundation is a Vaishya and with serving and building something physically Shudra is the foundation. So all have their own, own foundation areas and all are needed for the society to function well. Not everyone can become any of the Varnas. That is the fall of a society and th th that is what is happening now. Nonetheless, the word Shudra cannot be literal there 
since there is nisheda even if ichha and vigraha vigravatvena seva is possible still nisheda is there anisheda is not there so nisheda is there therefore jaimini sutras and all shastras will be contradicted if you take the meaning literally now you have to look at yogika vyutpatti derivative meaning of shudra shabda and that has been explained by bhagwan bhashyakara based on this sutra itself so he says this word here this shudra shabda is used for jana shruti because jana shruti had shoka so the shudra word is because of shoka shoka utpatti so shugasya shuga shukas shuk or shug is shoka there is grief there is grief born in the antakarana of jana shruti when he was insulted that he is no raikwa he has done so much of dharma karya while one one swan is praising the other swan is insulting him so there was anadara there is an insult tad anadara shravanat since there is anadara shravana and due to that there was shoka for jana shruti tada dravana suchyate hi and there he was overwhelmed and there is such suchana using the word shudra shudra word the word shudra as an address by jana shruti because he knows this he is a jnani who knows what is the mind of jana shruti that he is shoka grasta therefore he addresses them as shudra so this is the meaning of the word shudra as used by raikwa who is a jnani towards jana shruti who is not a shudra by varna he is not jati shudra he is not varna shudra shudra but he is shoka grasta shudra and tada dravanat being in overwhelmed by such shoka he approached raikwa to know who this raikwa is and how he can get over this grief also how he can understand who is this raikwa and how i can become like raikwa he approached raikwa due to that shoka tada dravanat he approached raikwa for this particular shoka itself therefore he is called as shudra and raikwa knew this and raikwa showed that he knew this also by addressing him as shudra so this is the sutra artha quite a complex sutra the meaning is very simple okay the shudra shabda is not the way it is literal it is prasiddha in the prasiddha meaning but it is a derivative meaning सो अथ पूर्वपक्षे जातिशूद्र से ब्रह्म विद्यावर्णिका अविशेषा फल सो वॉट इज दी पूर्वपक्षी से जातिशूद्र ऑलसो हेज अधिकार एंड ब्रह्म विद्या वाय त्रैवर्णिका अविशेषा देर इज नो डिफरेन्स फ्रॉम त्रैवर्णिका बिकॉज दी जातिशूद्र हेज ऑलसो बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट एज शूद्र इन दी छांदोग्य उपनिषद एंड ही हेज अधिकार सो देर इज नो difference between the trivarnikas meaning the earlier three varnas and the fourth shudra varna siddhante tatha vishesha iti viveka there is a difference between shudra and the other three uh, this will be shown so chandogya samvarga vidya am shruyate it is heard in chandogya samvarga vidya what is it ahahare twa shudra tavaiva sa govirastu iti so he says that this uh, this raikwa is known to be with a cart so he says ahahare ahahare twa shudra tava eva sah so ahahare tava tava eva sah gobi gobi hi sah along with the cows astu let the cart this cart har ahahare meaning with the har with the haras with all the haras which are there twa to you o shudra 
ಶೂದ್ರಶ್ರುತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನವ ಇತಿ ಸಂದೇಹೆ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಆಫ್ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಶೂದ್ರ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಶೂದ್ರ ವರ್ಣ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ವರ್ಣ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನವ ಡೂ ಆಲ್ ಶೂದ್ರಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನವ ಇತಿ ಸಂದೇಹೆ ವೆನ್ ಸಚ್ ಡೌಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇತಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ನೋ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪುರಾಣ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಪುರಾಣ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀಂಗ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಸ್ತು ಅಸ್ಯ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಹೇ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ತದನಾದರ ಶ್ರವಣ ತಸ್ಯ ಹಂಸಸ್ಯ ಅನಾದರ ಶ್ರವಣ ಯಾ ಶುಗ್ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ಸಾ ಶೂದ್ರ ಶಬ್ದೇನ ಸೂಚ್ಯತೆ ರೈಕ್ವೇಣ ಸಸ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞತ್ವ ಜ್ಞಾಪನಾರ್ಥಂ ಸೊ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಎ ಶೂದ್ರ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಶೂದ್ರ ವೈ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಶೂದ್ರ ಸೊ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವರ್ಣ ಶೂದ್ರ ಜಾತಿ ಶೂದ್ರ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಬೈ ರೌ ರೈಕ್ ವಾ ಟು ಶೋ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಶೋಕಗ್ರಸ್ತ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡೆರಿವೇಟಿವ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಶೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ತದ ನಾದರ ಶ್ರವಣ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಹಂಸ ತಸ್ಯ ಹಂಸಸ್ಯ ಅನಾದರ ಶ್ರವಣ ದಟ್ ಹಂಸ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ಯಾ ಶುಗ್ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ಯಾ ಶುಗ್ ಶೋಕ ದಟ್ ಶೋಕ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ಬಾನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಸಾ ಶೂದ್ರ ಶಬ್ದೇನ ಸೂಚ್ಯತೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಯೂಸ್ ಬೈ ರೈಕ್ ವಾ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸಂಬೋಧನ ಆಫ್ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಈ ಸೂಚ್ಯತೆ ಹಿ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಡೆರಿವೇಟಿವ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಶೂದ್ರ ರೈಕ್ವೇಣ ಸ್ವಸ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞತ್ವ ಜ್ಞಾಪನಾರ್ಥ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ರೈಕ್ ವಾ ಇಸ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ನೋ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಯೋಗೇನ ಅಪಿ ಶೂದ್ರ ಶಬ್ದಸ್ಯ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಪರತ್ವ ಆಹ ತದಾ ದ್ರವಣಾತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯೋಗೇನ ಅಪಿ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯೌಗಿಕ ವಿತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಶೂದ್ರ ಶಬ್ದ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೂದ್ರ ಬಟ್ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ತದಾ ದ್ರವಣಾತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತದಾ ದ್ರವಣ ತಂ ರೈಕ್ವ ಪ್ರತಿ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ರಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಜನಿತಯ ಸುಚ ದುದ್ರಾವೇತಿ ದುದ್ರಾವ ದುದ್ರಾವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಸೊ ದ್ರವಣ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾನಶ್ರುತಿ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ರೈಕ್ವ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಶೋಕಗ್ರಸ್ತ ಫಾರ್ ಶೋಕ ನಿವಾರಣ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೀ
in pullinga so he, him he approached this who is that approached him because of approaching him that is the meaning tada of tada dravana approaching him meaning who is that raikwa so raikwam prati janashuti hi dudrava sucha sucha is due to such due to shoka he approached vidya uh, vidya rahitya janitaya because he had no vidya he wanted vidya so he approached raikwa for this vidya and therefore also this yogika yutpatti is indicated अतः न शूद्र से अधिकार इत्यर्थ देर फोर शूद्र हेज नो अधिकार इन ब्रह्म विद्या नाउ देर आर अदर डेरिवेशन देर आर थ्री डेरिवेशन गिवन बाय भगवान भाष्यकार बट द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑल दैट इज सिमिलर एज टू ड्यू टू द शो का ही अप्रोच और टू टेक अवे द शो का ही अप्रोच इत्यादि सो द मीनिंग इज सिमिलर सो आर नॉट गोइंग टू दोज डिटेल्स बट इट इज अ यौगिक व्युत्पत्ति the meaning of the word shudra is not jati so um okay uh, we started late i'll just take a few minutes and see how much i can do nanu kasma na adhikara ityata why is there no adhikara sauskara paramarsha tadabhava vilapaccha sauskara paramarsha tadabhava vilapaccha so the why is there no adhikara as the puru pakshi why does shudra have no adhikara in ब्रह्म विद्या सो देर दी आई थिंक देर इज सो आई मिस दूत्र आई एम सॉरी या ननु मुख्य एव शूद्र जान श्रुति रस्तु सो वाई कॉन्ट दि वर्ड शूद्र बी टेकन एज लिटल आज दि पूर्व पक्षी मुख्य मुख्य अर्थ एव शूद्र अस्तु शूद्र लेट दि वर्ड शूद्र है मुख्य अर्थ वर्ण जान श्रुति लेट जान श्रुति नॉट बी क्षत्रिय लेट इम बी शूद्र किम जगन्येन योगेन इत्यने इत्यता ह व्हाई डू यू टेक दिस यू नो दिस कॉन्वुलेटेड रूट ऑफ लैंडिंग ऑन यौगिक व्युत्पत्ति व्हाई नॉट टेक द प्रसिद्ध अर्थ सो देयर दी सूत्र इज क्षत्रियत्व गतेश्चोत्तरत्र चैत्रथेन लिंगात क्षत्रियत्व गतेश्चोत्तरत्र चैत्रथेन लिंगात so the answer given is jana shruti he is not shudra he is not jati shudra he is jati kshatriya you see in the in the same section if you go ahead you see there is a linga linga is a pramana so there is no shruti that he is a kshatriya although you say shudra shruti is there that shudra word has to be yogika because there are there is anisheda there is Uh, there is no anisheda there is nisheda there is a contradiction with all shastras so you have to go to next pramana which is the linga so if there is a linga what is a linga chaitrathena linga so kshatriyatva gatehe cha uttaratra chaitrathena linga that is a padacheda so jana shruti kshatriyatva gatehe jana shrutehe kshatriyatva gatehe since there is a This is an understanding of Kshatriyatvam of Jana Shruti. How? Uttaratra. If you go further, you will see Uttaratra. Chaitaratha in a linga. He goes along with Chaitaratha. Chaitaratha is a Kshatriya. That is well known there. So Chaitaratha and this Jana Shruti wander together. They, they meet together. They have, uh, uh, in fact, uh, Bhagavan Bhashikara shows that, uh, he sums up the sections and shows that the acharya for chaitratha uh, the uh, the kula acharya or uh, the one who officiates the one who officiates officiating priest of chaitratha was the same officiating priest for jana shruti also and chaitratha is kshatriya you cannot the shudra cannot have an officiating priest and chaitratha is a kshatriya the kshatriya will not be roaming around with shudra so chaitratha kshatriya is roaming around as a friend with with jana shruti who has to be a kshatriya as well basically dvija and kshatriya to is also shown by showing that the officiating priest is the same therefore kshatriyatva gati is there avagati understanding is there 
So there is an interpretation which is clear using all these indicators as to Kshatriyatvam uh, of Jana Shruti. Jana Shruti is not Shudra. Jana Shruti is not Mukhya Shudra, means not Jati Shudra. Kutaha, why? Kshatriyatva Gatehe. Kshatriyatva Sya Tasya. Jana Shruti, Kshatriyatva Sya Avagatehe. Gatehe means Avagatehe due to clear knowledge, clear understanding from the same section of Chandogya as to Jana Shruti, Kshatriya. Tat Kasmat. How is that understanding coming about? Uttaratra, if you go further, Samvarga Vidya Vakya Sheshe. You don't stop at Samvarga Vidya. Handpick mantras such as He Shudra. You go further and analyze. Chaitra Thena Prasiddha Kshatriya. This Chaitra is a Prasiddha Kshatriya. Thena Saha Avipratarina. Samavi Vyaharat. Uh, sorry, uh, Samabhivyahara Atmaka Lingad Ityata. There is Samabhivyahara Atma is, uh, is Swarupa there. Atma. So there is a Linga. What is the Swarupa of that Linga? Samabhivyahara. So they go around together, they eat together. Today may be possible, but in that era where the Upanishad is talking about an era. Where only the same or similar category of people will flock. So basically birds of a feather flock together which is a well known thing. That is why we need satsanga. So whoever you befriend that person and you have similar qualities. And here the qualities are not kshatriyatva. By Varna, being Varna is being shown. So, the era that we are discussing from the Upanishad quotations is definitely an era where Dharma is not compromised. So, in that Dharma, following Brahmanas will stick together, Kshatriyas will stick together. So, all this is clear because they are doing their Dharma. So, they cannot be uh, mixing up with others to the compromise of their Dharma. Finally, what will happen is that the end, the day is consumed. For a dharmika, the day is consumed in the dharmika activities. For a kshatriya, in the kshatriya activities. For a brahmana, in the brahmana activities. There is, there is hardly other time left in the day to do anything else from this dharma. The dharma consumes the day for each and every varnika. Therefore, the kshatriya who is doing his dharma and is mingling with others, he is mingling with kshatriyas. When he is having food, he is not parting out. So, I mean, to use a modern analogy. So, there, all this is a linga. So, this uh, Chaitaratha is a Avipratari who is well known Kshatriya. Tena saha samabhi vyaharatmaka lingat. Ityartha. Samana jatiya nam eva hi prayana sahacharam bhavati ti bhava. So, prayana generally. Generally, the samana jatis are together. So it is not that, you know, uh, it is not an era where uh, anyone does anyone's dharma, follows anyone's uh, uh, paradharma. So swadharma following is there. You don't follow others dharma. Paradharma bhayavaha says Gita Acharya. So all of this is to be understood in context of that era. Today also you see, I mean, who will have a, a good interaction? Forget friends, but then... Friends can be from any field, but if you look at it, you know, if somebody is from a uh, from medical background, they'll be discussing with uh, they'll be discussing medicine with co doctors. So they'll also be from the medical field. So when they are discussing, uh, I and mean, this is again prayana generally, but in the dharmika era where dharma was not compromised, that time it will be samana jatiya nam eva hi prayana sahacharu bhavati. So this is a linga. Only the same jatis will be together most of the time. And this is seen in the Chandogya section there. Ataha na jati shudra se adhikara iti siddham. Therefore, jati shudra has no adhikara in Brahma Vidya. Nanu kasman na adhikara ityata aha samskara paramarsha tadabhava vilapach. Since I have read this, I will finish the sutra. So, samskara paramarsha is there. Samskara 
whoever does not have sanskaras their abhilapa is there meaning nisheda is there therefore there is no adhikara for shudra because shudra does not have sanskaras and without sanskara there is nisheda since shudra does not have sanskaras and without sanskara there is nisheda therefore shudra has nisheda this is the sutra artha tam ho paninye adihi bhagavaiti ोपसाद इत्यादि विद्या प्रदेश उपनयनादि संस्कार परामर्शा सिंस इन सच मंत्राज युसी तम ही उपनिन्ये गेट द उपनयन संस्कार डन फॉर दिस बॉय अधिही भगवा इतिही इति ह उपसाद सो अधिही भगवा दि ब्रह्मचारी अप्रोचेस दि गुरु सेइंग दैट प्लीज टीच मी और इफ ही हैज यज्ञो पविता देन यस प्लीज टीच मी इफ ही डज नॉट हैव यज्ञो पविता प्लीज गिव मी यज्ञो पविता एंड देन टीच मी इत्यादि विद्या प्रदेशेशु वेयर एवर देयर इज दिस ब्रह्म विद्या डिस्कशन ब्रह्म कैन मीन वेद आल्सो सो वेद विद्या डिस्कशन बिकॉज़ वेद हैज टू बी लर्न फ्रॉम अ गुरु आफ्टर द उपनयन संस्कार सो प्रदेशेशु उपनयन आदि संस्कार परामर्श देयर इज एनालिसिस एंड डिस्कशन ऑफ संस्कार सचेत उपनयन इत्यादि तरही शूद्रस्य अपि उपनयनम कल्पयताम कल्प्यताम इत्यताह देन पूर्व पक्षी सेज लेट देयर बी अधिकार इन शूद्र बाय हैविंग उपनयन संस्कार नो देयर इज नो उपनयन संस्कार यू कैन नॉट इमेजिन सच संस्कार एज व्हाई बिकॉज़ तदभाव तदभाव अभिलापाच देयर इज अभाव ऑफ संस्कार फॉर शूद्र एंड दोस डू नॉट हैव अधिकार दोस डू नॉट हैव संस्कार डू नॉट हैव अधिकार इन ब्रह्म विद्या एंड शूद्र therefore does not have adhikara in brahma vidya then there is a nisheda vakya also na shudre patakam kinchanna na shudre patakam kinchinna cha sanskaram arhati ityajana upanayanaadi sanskara bhava bhidana ityartha this sanskara is not there in shudra it is not there for shudra also why now see look at this uh, many people talk about as very oppressive but is it oppressive look at this na shudre patakam kinchin kinchit patakam shudre nasti pataka bis papa the shudra has already got a papa janma janma due to papas see it is all adhogati shudra has to slog a lot to make the ends meet he is not rich brahmana is also darit basically you hear daridra brahmana in all stories you hear brahmana is at the mercy of others in the uh, dharmika era where dharma was not compromised brahmana used to live on bhiksha so there was no compromise in uh, dharma that time brahmana was also daridra so he used to live on kshatriya who was rich vaishyas who were rich so all these would donate and shudra would get fee for service and was taken care of by others and in oppressive society that we talk about today this is only i mean socio political but as an aside can there be a mantra that shudre patakam nasti mean there is no papa what shudra does is already is he is, is a life of suffering so therefore his exit from that janma moksha from that janma is also very easy namasmarana he is being given adhikara for namasmarana which he can do any time since he has no other time left shudra cannot have a further fall 
So Shudra has no Papa, Patakam Nasti, Kinchitna, Kinchit, not even a little Papa is there in Shudra because his Janma itself is, is Papa Janma. So there is no further Papa, so he does not need Sauskara to gain something, gain Punya. He does not need Sauskara to gain Punya. He can do Namasmarana and gain Punya. In fact, there elsewhere some Rishi has said, uh, it is difficult for the Trivarnikas to get Moksha. Why? Because they have to do a lot. There is, they can get Papa very easily. It, the Janma is, Brahmana's Janma is for Moksha. It is only for Moksha really. It can be for others also. But then they have to follow their Varnashrama Dharma and do a lot to actually, and if they do not follow the uh, uh, Varnashrama Dharma, then there is Pataka, there is Papa. Then there is a fall. Then there is denial of moksha for which the person has taken janma. Therefore, compromising on swadharma, taking up paradharma is a fall for trivarnikas. But for the shudra, there is no fall. Why? Because he does not need anything else. He does not need samskaras. He does not need to do anything. Therefore, since papa is not there, na samskara marhati. So, this is actually a discount. So, instead of looking at it as an operation, they are again given a free, free pass. Why? Because the birth itself is difficult, the life is difficult. How much more difficulty do you want by getting samskara, falling dharma? There is so much to do. And if you compromise there, there is further fall. So the Shastra gives a discount saying that you don't have any papa because you are already doing papa bhoga right now. You are, this janma is for bhoga of that papa. You are born in a life of difficulty, but the exit is easy. You don't need more difficulties of add-on dharmas do samskaras and do all this, you can just cross over by Purana Kathas and listening to Purana Kathas and doing Namasmarana. So this is the Ityadina Upanayanadi Samskara Abhava Abhidhana Dityartha. So what Purva Pakshi is looking at is Shudra let him have Adhikara. So here another way it is answered. He has no Adhikara because he has no Upanayana Samskara but he does not need Upanayana Samskara because he has no Papa. So what does it mean is that Upanayanadi Samskara is needed to go, do away with Papa, gain Punya for the Trivarnikas. This is, a, this is a corollary you have to read into this and we will look at the others in the next part. Sorry for a uh, long time because it is controversial. I didn't want to uh, just let it go. And there are others also which will become more controversial. We will see that in passing in the next part. आत्मज्योति रूपास्मे ओम तत्सत नमस्ते